Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We just released Octane Lighting Essentials Volume 3, which has a bunch of Octane Lighting Studios to jumpstart your lighting. And uh, one of these is called Light Painting. It's this one right here with the watch. And I wanted to show you how to use this scene really quickly. And we're gonna recreate this orange or tangerine scene that we found by Jan Elsner and I'll put a link below to it, but we really like the render, so we recreated it and we used the Light Painting Studio. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up in Octane. Once you download the studio, and then you can put your objects into it, so we have our oranges in our bottle, and uh, by default, this Light Painting Studio has an espresso rig set to flat. You can change the lighting, you can change the color, you can change some of these parameters, but out of the gate, it's set to flat, and you can also change this to HDRI. And then you can load one of your HDRI. So we have this softbox in here, and we're out of focus, so let's go to the Octane camera. Let's drag this bottle into the focus object so that we're in focus here. This is what it looks like with our HDRI, casting a bit of light from the side and below. We wanna put a nice big softbox on the top left that uh, will get a lot of this nice glints in this gold. So we're gonna do that by adding a spotlight. And with this Espresso Rig, it's very easy. First off, to connect the spotlight to this bottle so we can rotate and move the spotlight around it, we just have to drag the bottle into this connect to objects. And now our spotlight is going to be connected. So let's go to our spotlight and let's click enable. So we have all these settings under spotlight and what we can do is get out of our camera here and let's pull that spotlight where we want it. Right now, because it's connected to the, the bottle, it's kind of sitting right under there. All right, so we have the soft box up. We'll kind of position it over this way, something like that. And in our Espresso Rig for this soft box, we can also change it from rounded to square. We can play with the different gradient, the temperature. We can play with the turbulence on the spotlight. We can bring this in closer to our scene. The nice thing about this scene is that um, you can easily paint with lights by just creating more of these spotlights. You can just grab this null and then hold control and drag and let go to make a duplicate and then you'll have a second spotlight and you can kind of position this one wherever you want to so then you'll have uh, multiple spotlights you can easily play with all right so let's go back into our camera and you'll see that the spotlights covering up our scene you can just uh, click on this stoplight twice and then you'll be able to see all right so here is our really beautiful spotlight and you can see this great glint in the bottle cap here and if we wanted to take this glint and move it over, we can easily do that. Just grab our spotlight and just move it over. And you can see this glint is moving over as well. So it's very easy to move these spotlights around. Put that over to the left back where it was and we'll get that nice glint. All right, so this is looking very nice. But one thing that we did also add was a glow to this bottle. So it looks like it's glowing. And we're gonna do that by adding an area light inside of the bottle. All right, so we're gonna add a object, lights, and area light and it's gonna be very big by default. So we're gonna to go to the details and we're gonna make the outer radius very small, maybe like two. It's a little bit hard to see here, but we're gonna pull this up and we're gonna position it right in the middle of this bottle. And we're gonna spin this around a little bit here. I think I had the coordinates set at 273 and it's gonna match uh, this label. So we're gonna have it sitting right behind the label here. And if it's hard to see, you can change your display mode to quick shading as well. We're gonna hide this light right behind this label so that it's getting blocked by the label, but the light is sort of spilling out around it, which is gonna look really nice. Let's go into that octane light and change the power to maybe 35 and turn off transparent emission, and then we'll see what that looks like. And now you can see that we have this really nice glow. We might want to uh, put some more of the GPU effort into this sampling right around that light. So if you go to the sampling rate of that light, we can kick that up, just crank it to 1,000 and uh, then it'll focus some more of the efforts on cleaning up this area. And here we go, we have a beautiful render. So it's maybe a little bit too powerful. We could drop down the power of that spotlight. And there you go, we have an absolutely stunning render. And the nice thing about these espresso rigs is it's just really easy to play with them. You can tweak all these settings very quickly and get some pretty incredible results. If you're an Octane user, make sure to grab Octane Lighting Essentials 3. Thanks for checking out this video and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.